Hello, it's Sarah. And this video, I'm working on another flower pot. This is about like a, let's see, six to seven inch, six and a half to seven, but it doesn't have the lip. I'm going to be doing a different type face today, um, a sugar skull. And I love sugar skulls. And I've painted them. I've burned them. I've, I did a mosaic. This was a class I took. So this is my inspiration today. Um, it's from Mosaics, Mosaic Online. Mosaic something online is the website. Um, Mosaic Art, Mosaic Art Online, Arts Online. And the class was with, was with David Jarvanen. I think he's got a studio in Arizona. Um, waiting for my thin set to kind of they call it slate, and that just means that it's going to be ready to, oh, so I, this is the first time I actually put the bag in the cup and mixed it in the bag, so um, it's, it's a little, just saves me the step of taking it from a cup and putting it into the bag, and I'm using, it's kind of, I guess they would call it like a pastry bag or something, it's just from um, Celebrate It at Michael's, and they're a little stronger than a, a regular, um, I used, I have used uh, sandwich bags, but this is a little thicker, and I'm also going to do something else today, um, taking it, I'm just going to take it out of here, um, I'm going to use one of Joe's, like, he uses these for his lights, he does Christmas lights, and he uses these to attach the uh, cords to things and everything. So let's see, I have to kind of push it down in the bag to the tip so that I can squeeze it out like you would squeeze out um, icing. So that's the idea. I didn't make a ton because I'm really not, I'm only going to do the main, uh, so now I have to cut a little hole because uh, there's air in the bag. So hopefully I'm gonna, oh, here we go. So see, it's squeezing down. Okay, so I'm just gonna twist it and I'm gonna lock it down with this, what are these called? Oh, a zip tie. So hopefully it'll tighten up real tight. Sorry, I'm gonna just do it off camera because this is the first time I've ever um, used a zip tie, but I'm hoping, because usually I've been using, um, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna. Really? Okay, good. I've been using just painter's tape and kind of folding the bag up and um, it hasn't really stayed. <laughs> like, I am so rough. Anyway, I'm going to cut this little part of bag off and cut that off. Okay, so this is my little glue that I'm going to be using. I'm going to just, so I just drew out a face. Um, I did it with my chalk pencil. And I just kind of sketched out a face shape and some ideas for where I, w where I would put different decorations. And then, I'll set that aside for a sec, I did the cutting, and I mentioned this in my previous video. <clears throat> um, I, I wasn't sure about pre-cutting the different things before I get the thin set. Like, as you go is probably a better way to go. But I think I'm just going to do that when I'm filling in the face. So for today, I just wanted to have the teeth cut. So I can just start to, I can put these main um, parts of the design on the piece. And they're ready to go. And then I can cut as I go. So I'm just going to set these aside. You know what I was going to do though? I was going to sand this, but I don't think I need to. This is actually a piece of jewelry. Like it's made from um, some type of stone. Anyway, um, and the rest of it is different pieces of glass, things that I bought from Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby, um, and I've cut them with my wheeled nippers. So I'm not going to do much, much cutting right now. I'm going to mainly be gluing. So I'm just going to set this to the side and pull my, my uh, pot back in. I have these sp this sponge that I kind of cut in half, and I'm just using it as a, a way for the pot not to roll. And I'm just going to start. Um, 
I had cut this blue flower for the top and I had the blue flower right there but then I thought I have this cross and I really wanted to put that so I'm gonna go ahead and start right there in the center I'm gonna load this up with thinset and when this dries it is permanent so I'm gonna come a little close to the nose and once you put it down you should really not try not to touch it so I left a little bit here that I'll be able to go around because I'm going to outline the skull too. I think that'll be good. Um, I'm going to pull, I have this little tool, and I'm just going to pull some thin set away. I'm going to put it over here because I'm going to be doing my, leap, my flowers next. But it's a little awkward because there is a, it's rounded, but the thin set holds it in place pretty good. Um, so I'm hoping for the best. And that's it. I want to make sure that, um, the thin set doesn't come up too high because then when I grout, you'll be able to see it. So I'm just going to make sure that's straight. I think I'm good. Hopefully, see my camera, let's see. See, it looks straight to me, but the camera, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to start with my uh, flowers next. So I'm just going to use this as my centers. It's a little piece of green put it right here um, give it a press and really once I put it I don't want to keep pushing it and pulling it so one and done is is a rule of thumb here but we'll see how it goes I'm just eyeballing making sure they both seem like they're yeah because I didn't use a pattern or anything I'm just gonna pull the thin set away from it and put it back down on the piece where I'm going to put a petal. I think that looks good. Now I cut these petals from a piece of glitter tile that I had. I don't even remember where I got this. I got this a long time ago and it might have been from Home Depot but I don't remember. I'm sorry. I have it in pink as well but I used these and I cut them kind of in half and then I shaped them into flower petals. So I have five for each a uh, flower and I'm just gonna place them in a way that looks organic if you know what I mean so that it um, it's not real cookie cuttery at all it's very uh, random I cut each one by hand so they're not the same at all now they do sell petal shapes and I have some that I actually cut for the teeth um, because they had very I'll show you when I get to that so I'm gonna try and squeeze five on each side and I do like this way of doing it because I have everything's ready to go and I can just start to glue I'm just gonna turn this a little so you can see better I wanted to keep the curve of the head as best I could I'm gonna take my little tool and just make sure the thin sets not coming up too high um, gonna put this down here but I think I can work with this I think that's gonna be good the thin sets a little here but it's not higher than the tile so I think I'm gonna leave that it's kind of the shape of the head <laughs> go do the other one did I come all the way up see this is what I want to make sure too that like okay there's a little space here but I think that's going to be great because I'll connect the top with white um, yeah, so that's a good, I like that angle, is what I'm saying. The thin set is from Home Depot. I forget the brand name off the top of my tongue. It's out in the garage, and I've, I've taken a little, like, cup of it 
that um, had a lid so that I can keep some of it in the house so I can mix it without going out because it's such a big bag like it's like a 10 pound bag or something and that's like stored in a um, like one of those gallon buckets that they sell those big orange buckets um, so that because you can't really let air get to it or it'll um, dry it out but that's looking pretty even again I wanted to keep the shape so that it looks like it's um, the shape of a head and I I kind of put the longer petals to the sides and then the, I used a little stubbier one in the front I don't know why I just did I guess it's my style right this does not seem like it has enough on it down here but once it's all grouted it will so I'm gonna go with this I think it's this one could turn a little See, as soon as I took that off, I moved it, it got unstuck. I want it to turn a little more. No, I don't. I liked it the way it was. I overthink things. That's what happens. I start to overthink things. Um, I'm, I am in such a meditative state, meditative state right now. This is so fun for me. I have leaves. But I'm going to wait until I place a few more things on the piece. I'm going to go ahead and put the teeth in. And I cut these, like I told you, from flower petal shapes that were big. And I, I wanted that really nice rounded edge for the top, for the gum line of the tooth. So I just cut my teeth from those. So I'm going to place each one and I probably could have moved the whole design up a little because I don't have much of a chin but I'm just gonna go with it and it is what it is for right now you know I mean I'm living and learning as I go I want to leave little gaps um, but not teeth are generally pretty close together so I'm kinda going with that I want it to just be a straight line across I have a guideline there but um, it's a it's a skeleton, so it's not it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not that important to me that it's perfect. I I am getting really good at just accepting. Oop, this looks bigger than that. I think I'm gonna move these. I want to put the bigger one in the front. You know. Um, Anywho, what I was saying was, and, and if he has gaps, like that's good because I didn't go, to, I never had braces, so my teeth are definitely a little janky, like I have little crooked ones. These two on my teeth are very crooked. See, this looks like it needs to be a little shorter or a little bigger. I'm fine. I'm leaving it. I think it's going to look so cool. This one actually has a mark on it, but I don't mind because I only had 10, so I have to use it. But it has this black mark. It's just a little uh, blemish on the tile coating. I guess it's like a glazed tile. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull my camera a little forward because I I feel comfortable where I am. Hmm, I don't even think that helped. There we go. So basically I just cut each piece of the petals to where I thought a tooth, see like I'm trying to keep this even. Let me hold, I gotta make sure I'm staying straight here. It looks good, it looks fine. So I'm going to start in the middle again, put the bottom teeth, I give them a, I give them a gold tooth as well because some, for some reason my sugar skulls are all pirates, <laughs> not the, I don't know, pirates, I just always think of pirates with a, a gold tooth. Um, you know, I think it's interesting because I don't know if people still get gold tooth fillings but um, 
it was maybe a sign of uh, wealth if you had a piece of gold in your mouth you know I don't know and nowadays people just buy it and they buy a whole grill <laughs> with diamonds and gold uh, and put it in their mouths not me I need to spend all my money on craft supplies <laughs> all right look at that Oh, I want to tell you something about my little gold tooth. When I was cutting it, I, I had this other gold um, glass uh, piece of tile. I'll show you. Come on. Those are some cool looking teeth, buddy. All right, buddy, let's go. Um, not going to touch it. <laughs> Let me get, just get a paper towel so I can clean up my tool. Um, I had, I have two different types of gold tiles. I have these, which are little rounds. I think I got these from a vendor on Etsy. Both of them came from the same vendor. But these are more like glass with like um, gold leafing behind it. And these are glazed porcelain tiles. So they're the same as this. So the first tooth I cut was from this because I forgot I had these. So, and then I was scrounging around looking for other stuff. See, so here's the other tooth I had. So I cut this tooth, but it would have been much lower. So I'm so glad that I found that and now they're all the same height. Anyway, it's just a side note. All right. So now I want to put little flowers in his eyes. Her, his or her, it doesn't matter. So I have these little baby rounds that I'm just going to use and put a little flower with rounds. And I did it with a red. Some are iridescent and some are just matte. But uh, I might not be able to fit four. Maybe if I put it up here, I'll be able to fit four. I think I'm going to do that. Um, four petals, in other words. So let's. Where's my paper towel? Here it is. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter if I can't fit four, it'll be fine, but um, that was my intention to begin with, and I think I can. So I'm going to try. <clears throat> um, when you are doing this, see I can't, I'm only going to put three then. I'm going to put three. Um, I could have probably halved one and put two. I have time to take that off, so I'm going to put another one here. Let's put my center in. And we'll see if I can... See, I kind of wanted the red to be away from this, like to put it down lower. Um, I think I am. See, this is good. You, you, I, this is the part. At least I have the tiles cut, and then I can just move them. Like, that's part of the process, moving them. So I'm going to put them here. Now, this little section of the eye is going to have... Um, a bit of gray to kind of here and here is going to create like a shadow like you can see inside his little face so I'm going to cut this in half I'm just going to use I'm going to try and cut this in half so I'm lining it up and I'm going to put half and half and then I'm going to try and fit two they're so small and I'm using the flat side to put up against that area of the eye where I'm going to have gray tiles. I'm going to put the other half piece on the other side. And let me know in the comments if you guys like to see the process in real time or if you'd just rather I did a share when I was done. Because real time is real time. I mean, it's slow. So you really can't move them. Like, it, it kind of locks in. I'm going to take these guys off. It kind of locks in when, um, after you 
push it down and then when you move it it unlocks it you know what I mean so I mean I think it'll still harden and hold but I think it's nicer to have that initial just gentle press and then it locks it in I'm gonna tip him tip the hole so that you can kind of get a better idea and again like I said this is just it's a little fudgy because I'm fiddling and figuring out what to do as I go um, I could speed it up and that way that might be an idea I know a lot of you like to hear my process like my thought process as I go but um, you know I kind of just do it in real time so that you actually do get an understanding of my thought process as I'm doing it and why I'm doing what I'm doing that's how I learn I I'm a visual learner I like to see I like to hear and do it myself so there's a lot of things that help me um, when I'm learning something new um, that's why I kind of try to do that for you guys but not everybody learns the same way and I don't know if I love this. I need more. Um, but once I put the gray there, I think it'll be good. I think I like it. Now I'm just going to move the other one. Um, I lost my green. Here he is. Um, over there. The other thing I'm going to do is leaves. Now I cut these leaves. Let me just fit. See, I, you already saw me do that. But I cut these leaves from two different kinds of tiles. I have this almost one inch tile that's what I cut these from and then I had this which is a bit smaller that's what I cut these little guys that I'm going to use in the eyeballs from and I was thinking of I could actually cut this in half as well to give it a vein a vein line one because when I grout the vein line would show up with the grout you know so I'm not going to do that with the little ones that I use for here I'm just gonna let them be in one piece I'm just looking for a, um, how I want it to I might want to put another one I'm not sure because I'm also going to fill the eyeball with like a darker boy I just squished all that out <laughs> But I, I mean, there's definitely still some under there, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be squishing so hard. I'm going to use it for my center on the other one. i do the same thing. Put it right up against where the gray is going to go. And I have to cut one of these in half again. What I really my intention with this piece was to use what I had for sure so I wanted to create a design using tiles that I had in my stash and not um, broken um, china um, the fun part about the broken china is you get to use the handles of the dishes and or the you know the cups and the mugs and um, use them in your design but this one was flat so you know that's what what my inspiration was for this I wanted to keep it flat and I knew that I could use I had a lot of cool stuff in my stash as far as different um, sizes and shapes of uh, glass tiles so um, that's what I went with so here we go finishing this as far as um, the back and a, like around the face I'm not sure what I'm gonna do um, uh oh I could actually fit a whole tile here I think I'm gonna just cuz that one I didn't have enough room that's okay it'll be fine I'm gonna put a whole tile there um yeah it's a tile but I do want to, and I have toothpicks as well. I use Q-tips, toothpicks, and these little tools that I uh, got at, I think, Michael's. 
but I want to pull out that thin set. Like I said, I don't want it to, because it will dry rock hard and then you won't be able to get it off. But you have a good while before you have to be sure about it. Um, so like by tonight, and before I go to bed, I would just want to make sure that nothing is really um, going to be an issue. So I'm just going to push them together a little bit. But I like that, and then I'm going to use the other piece, and I'm going to just do it in the same fashion, same angle. I like that. Then they look like eyeballs. You know, eyes are <laughs> the windows to the soul now. <laughs> but, you know, you want them to be even, equal. So I'm kind of liking uh, that I'm doing the same design in both eyes. And... I'm going to fill them in with like a dark tile, kind of an iridescent dark. It's not black, but it's a very like charcoal-y color. All right, so that's that. Um, didn't have anything really finalized for in the nose. I think I'm just going to fill it in. So let me put some leaves up here. I'm going to try and... I think I'm going to break this in half and see how it comes out. Yep. I'm going to put this. Make sure you, you have to kind of do the puzzle first so you see how it goes. I think it goes like that. And when it dries, it'll have a crack in the middle. So let's put it. Uh, make sure I'm using the. Oh, I want to use this side. Flipping it over. And just it's on an angle the pot, so there's a this end isn't really stuck down. It's kind of sticking in the middle. And use my toothpick and just pull that out of there so that I can fit grout and leave it, and it should be fine. Um, do I want to cut this one as well so that they're actually matchy-matchy or just, um, yeah, I think I do. I do like, um, what is that word, um, symmetry, but I don't have to have exact exact. It can be similar exact, you know what I mean? Like, um, so... Symmetry, it's just having it symmetrical, not necessarily exact. But um, this is so fun, you guys. I'm really enjoying it. I think it was this way. I flipped it because the other side had like a little um, striation through it, like a different color green. So I flipped it and I forgot I flipped it. So cool. I just want to make sure, like I said, I don't. Um, so then it also affects butting a tile up against the other tile. Um, you can't. Um, I won't be able to put a tile here if there's dried thin set. So I just want to get it off the surface. Um, what else was I going to do? I think I'm going to put. I'm going to put some more leaves, but I think I want to put these on the cheeks because it's going to just be easy and I will have the shape of a cheek. I'm going to just outline around it. I think I'll put them on after I do the outline. Um, the other thing I was going to do is more leaves. So I have lots of leaves here. I don't know that I can fit them, so I think I'm going to wait on that too. Um, so let's go ahead and start the outline. I'll be back. I'm just going to gather the tiles that I'm going to use to do that and we'll get started. You know what I can also do is I can put the gray in. They're right here in front of me so I don't have to go anywhere. These are little, I don't know what size because I'm not an expert yet. I don't know the lingo enough, but I'm pretty sure I ordered the, no, no, no. I got these at 
Hobby Lobby in a, a pack that was a bunch of different colors. And then I just separated them out. And so some of these are iridescent and some are matte, I believe. I'm just getting them because I have some in half. So they're tiny. I'm going to just push this back a little. And <clears throat> what I want to do... I like to clean up my space as I go. That's just gra um, thin set. But these... I can either cut in half or in thirds. To I think I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to glue them on to where I want my shadows to go. So there are very thin pieces that I would put in the curve. But for the most part, I'm going to use the iridescent ones because why wouldn't I? So I'm just going to make sure I can find a couple iridescent ones. Oh, these are all iridescent. See, and then there's matte ones. There's iridescent. So I think I'm going to use iridescent, and I should have enough. This one, this one. I actually dropped the container that these that I had organized these all in, and I just re or I just I put the I scooped I <laughs> swept them all up, and then today I organized them back again. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did get these at. Hobby Lobby, so um, they have a few things that you can play around with there. All right, let me start to, I'm going to cut in half. Some of them will probably come out thinner and thicker, and then I'll decide which ones to put where based on how they cut, because I'm really not good at exact halving things yet. Like, I just eyeball it, and <clears throat> let me see. I think I'm going to, mm, I was going to try and put the thin set down. Um, and then just, like, I could use a, I'll probably just spread it a little bit with this. I don't know. I'm not, I've never done it that way where you like put the thin set on the piece. I've always just squeezed it out of the bag onto the tile. So I guess I'm going to do that. But this is a little bit of a thinner piece. So I'm going to put that at the top of the curve right here. Um, just grabbing one that's a little fatter. And he's going to go here like at the thickest part of the curve. This is a fatty too. Pull it out of here a little bit. And, oops. But that's so pretty. I'm going to put, like, either I can cut a triangle, two triangles. That might have been a better way to go. I might cut a triangle to put right there. But I have one more piece. This one looks good. It's like a medium width. Oh, let's see. See, this is so thin. I could put that there. I think I'm going to put that there. And then I'll put this medium up here. Um, I want it to be fatter and then thinner. So I'll show you what I'm going to do cut a little diagonally thing out of it maybe I will just speed this up because it's um, still fun to see it come together and you don't have to like know exactly <coughs> <coughs> excuse me Uh, what I'm talking about. I'm actually not talking as much because I'm so focused. That might look better as a triangle. But I think I'm going to outline it. I lost my outline, but I think it goes that way. No, I like it. I'm just going to do that. All right, you guys. So I'm going to do the same thing here and here. 
with the gray. Then what I want to do is the white. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to use, um, I have a few different, this iridescent, I think I might fill in his face with that. But I also have these other really easy to manage. They're very white. And then this is a little off white. So maybe I'll do the outside with this. And then any shadow areas could be a little more. I think I'm going to do that. So all I'm going to do. And I ordered these online. I think from uh, Etsy. I think from Etsy. Not positive because I've had these in my stash for a while. And I don't keep track. Like once I get things when I order them, I just put it in my stash. And I don't. I should make a list of the vendor and all that stuff so I could really, because I don't know, like if I wanted to reorder this, literally I have no idea where to, where to get it. So it's not, it's not, I'm not, only am I not helping you, I'm not helping myself. <laughs> so um, I think I could do it in halves. That might be what I'm going to do. Or I could do it in thirds. I think thirds would be so, because it is small, I think I'm going to do it in thirds. So in other words, not exactly in half, in thirds. So I just cut that one tile into three equal-ish pieces. So I'm going to make a little pile of those and then I'll, I'll start gluing. I'll be right back. All right, I finished the gray. And I'm going to start putting the white around the outside of the design. And I just found this piece that I think is going to fit right there and start me off. I want it to kind of butt up against the top. And I'm just going to keep it moving around the whole perimeter of the design. And it doesn't, I'm not, I'm okay with if they're a little thick or thin or all, you know, it's going to be okay. Uh, I'll try to make things uh, fit if it's a curve or something like that, but for the most part, I just want to get this outline around the perimeter of the pot, of the, well, of the face actually, of the sugar skull face. I'm just going to make sure I pull the, the thin set out from there. Um, yeah, I didn't cut a ton. I think I'm going to use different ones around the eyes and nose, just because it's a tighter curve. Then I have these like little areas that give definition to the bones. So I might, well, no, I think I'll use the same size. Um, and then I'm going to fill in the eyes with the darker color. But I'm going to end the video because I think you guys get the idea. In the next video, you'll see pretty much the finished thing, I think. You know, um, I can see in the video that this, I looked up to, at the camera, that was a little lower. Anyway, um, so I'll see you in the next one. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.